Research Design Lab. Hello everyone, this video will be a demonstration on how to use a DIY UNO Play breadboard along with FT232 breakout board. Basically, this board is powered by Atmega 328P controller which has the following features. Now, let us test the board. Connect the FT232 breakout board to your computer. Install the driver required for the board. Once you are done installing the driver, connect the DIY play board to the FT232 breakout board. However, make sure you are connecting the two headers to the respective pins of its counterpart. Now visit the product page. At the bottom of the product page, you can find a LED sequence code. Copy the code. Paste it in the Arduino software. Compile the code to check any errors. Once you're done compiling, connect the DIY play board to the FT232 breakout board. Since the IC used here is Atmega 328P and there's an Arduino bootloader already present in the IC, so you need to select the board as Arduino Uno. Select the appropriate COM port as well, then upload the code. Once you're done uploading the code, Disconnect the DIY play board from the FT232 breakout port. Here, in this breadboard, I have made 4 LED connections in series with 1 kilo ohm resistors. Now, let me place my DIY play board parallel to the resistors on the breadboard. Please refer the Arduino code to know which GPIO pins are connected to these LEDs. Now, once you firmly connected the DIY play board on the breadboard, now you need to make a common ground connection between the boards and the LED. Use a jumper wire to do the same. Make sure you are connecting it properly. Now all the connections are ready. You just need to power on the DIY play board. Just connect the FT232 breakout board to the DIY play board and just observe the output. Thank you for watching. Visit us at researchdesignlab.com.